wake up around 2.30 with a big tree on top of my house. Up on Carlos Aramillo's rooftop in Paramus, it was less of a click from St. Nick and more of a crash when a 40-foot pine tree came down early Friday morning. Fell on top of the house, boom, the front and in the backyard and the rest is laying on the house. The entire bathroom's leaking, kitchen's leaking. Everything is really bad right now. Attics leaking, water is in the house on Christmas Day. That rude awakening, a trend across the region as a merciless storm with high winds caused a path of destruction, causing more than 100,000 power outages in New Jersey alone. Meanwhile, 50 mile per hour winds took down poles and wires along Route 1, shutting down the roadway in both directions. The closure expected to last close to 24 hours. While Bergen County was hit hard, utility crews worked around the clock to restore power. It's kind of like a lame Christmas. Residents like Liz Schrolitz spent a good part of her day without power which put a bit of a damper on the holiday. It's hard not having my electronics. <laughs> Others on her block took it in stride, not letting the outage call the shots. We don't have any power, but I just want you all to know that the powers that be are not affected. You see, that's right. You see, it proves that you don't need electricity to really enjoy this holiday. Now, uh, that video was provided by one of the residents here, very happy and excited to get their power back eventually. Uh, even though we are getting some good news in terms of power being restored to parts of New Jersey, PSE&G PSE say uh, they, about, they still have about 15,000 customers without power, and the goal right now is to get that restored by tomorrow afternoon. For now, we are live in Teaneck. I'm Andrew Ramos. Big 11